Why, hello, children. Won't you come in? Do you like your cookies? Uh -huh. Do you like chocolate uh -huh. chips? What's your favorite cookie? Chocolate chip. Did you come here just because you wanted a cookie? Uh -huh. <laughs> Bless your heart. Did you children know that this house was over a hundred years old? Wow. Would you like to see it? Uh -huh. Come on, I'll take you in the other room. This was my father and mother's bedroom. You see this picture up here? That's a picture of my grandmother. And the little baby on her lap is my mother. Now, if my mother were alive today, she would be 110 years old. So you're looking at a picture that's 109 years old. Now, this is a picture of my father's mother. She was born in England, and her people were converted to the church. And do you know that she walked with her sister across the plains all the way to Salt Lake? Now, this is a picture of the prophet Joseph Smith. Did you know Joseph Smith? <laughs> no, I'm old, but I'm not that old. If you'll come in the other room, I'll introduce you to someone who did know the prophet. My great-grandfather, Jeremiah Roby. He was born in 1809 and lived to be 95 years old. He was born in Virginia, and he helped to build the Nauvoo Temple. He was very devoted to the church and knew and loved the prophet Joseph Smith. And oh, how we used to love to sit by him or kneel down like you're kneeling down in front of me and listen to him tell about his acquaintance, his work, his life, his love for the prophet Joseph Smith. And night after night, he would sit and talk to us about crossing the plains and about being baptized by the prophet. And we were so thrilled well, my brother Henry said one night, Pappy, was Joseph Smith a man? Why would he ask if he were a man? You know, when I was a little girl, they used to talk about angels flying through the sky and about elves and dwarfs and Uncle Sam and all of those characters that weren't real. They weren't real people. They were just stories made up. And so Henry repeated again, thinking that maybe Joseph Smith wasn't a man. Maybe they just made that up. You know, there's sometimes people who said, did they just make it up about Jesus? And little Henry looked straight at Pappy and said to him again, Pappy, tell me, was Joseph Smith a man? And Pappy said, why, yes. The prophet Joseph Smith was a man. Oh, Pappy. I mean, was he a man like you? Yes, Henry. He was a man like I am. Pappy. He was a real man? Yes, he was a real man. <gasps> Pappy. Could he talk? <laughs> yes, he could talk, Henry. You know, if the prophet Joseph Smith were here tonight, he would be talking with us just as we're talking with each other now. Oh. Well, Pappy, could he eat? Yes, he could eat, Henry. Well, what did he eat? Why, well, he ate just what we do. 
bread and butter, potatoes, gravy, meat, fruit. <gasps> oh, he was a man and could eat fruit and potatoes and everything like that. Well, Pappy, did the prophet Joseph Smith have a horse? Now, that was very important in those days because there were no automobiles, no trains. You either had a horse or you walked. And little Henry said, Pappy, did you ever see the prophet on a horse? Yes, Henry. I saw a prophet on the horse many, many times. I've stood by the horse that was holding the prophet. When the prophet held my hand in his, and sometimes we talked for hours about the church. And then Guy, the gentle, poetic little fellow, said, Pappy, you said that the prophet Joseph Smith held your hand. Hold my hand. And then little Guy looked down at his hand and he said, oh, my hand's been held in a hand that was held by the prophet Joseph Smith. Oh, Pappy, hold all our hands. He held mine. Now, Amy, your hand has been held in a hand that was held in a hand that had been held by the prophet Joseph Smith. Your hand is being held in a hand, darling, that was held by the prophet Joseph Smith. John, John, your hand is being held in a hand that was held by the prophet Joseph Smith. What about when Joseph Smith saw Heavenly Father and Jesus? Were they real men too? Yes, they were real men. We were created in their image and in their likeness. Jesus is the Son of God. But you know, the people didn't know that. and They thought of him as just a man. But Jesus is the Son of God. God and Jesus are real men. If we keep our hands clean and pure, we may be able to see God and Jesus just as the prophet Joseph Smith did. Oh, I love you children. I love you. <laughs>